everybody, it's the Boss Lady here. Welcome back to another day of the Boss Land's 12 Days of Christmas. Today is going to be a different type of video. So as you can see, I have a bunch of bags on this side of me. And this will be a haul slash gift giving idea video. Um, so I have a few things here that I would like to share with you as well as I'm going to show you how I'm going to uh, put the gifts together and then, you know, give them away. Um, now these gifts here, everything here is not for my home except for one gift. And I just want to show you because it is a Ray Dunn item. So let me show you that first just in case Boss Man decides to walk through. So let's see here. Y'all, there's so many bags, I can't... Oh, here we go. It's the one sitting next to me. So, it's from TJ Maxx. This is also a Ray Dunn item, but it's for my husband. So, it's a mug, and let me get a little closer so you're able to see. Hopefully, you can see that. So, it has his Zodiac sign on it, and then it's filled with Ghirardelli dark chocolates on the inside. So, um... I am a Ray Dunn lover <laughs> now, uh, but I saw this and it has his zodiac sign on it, so I decided, you know what, let me pick this up for him um, because I did pick up mugs for myself and my daughter, but I really didn't get nothing for him, so this is, you know, specific to him, and he is a tea drinker, so he will love it. So this is a gift that I have to put back in the bag and... Um, Put up. This cost $12.99 at TJ Maxx. Oh, <laughs> excuse that. Sorry, y'all. Uh, another Ray Dunn item that would be a great gift uh, for someone who either collects Ray Dunn items or is a candle lover, air freshener type of um, person is this set right here. And in this set, there are two candles and an air freshener. Now, this is not being given to anyone else. This is mine. <laughs> this is going in my cabinet. Uh, I'm going to put, you know, my candles around the house or whatever. But this is a great gift. It's already wrapped up for you. It has a little ribbon on it. And you can even put the to and from here at the top. Sorry for the glare. But anyway, um, so yeah, this was $9.99 from TJ Maxx. So... Those are the only two items that are, you know, for my household. Now let's get into some gift ideas. Um, so my CEO, she has anything and everything you could think of, you could imagine. I mean, she's the CEO of a, her own company. So therefore, um, she really, you know, she has everything. So I didn't know what to get her. And I didn't want to get her something that was like the other staff members. So I'm just going to do just kind of like a token of token of love, token of Christmas for her. So what I picked up from Dollar Tree, I picked up a cute little gift box. So it's gold and um, with like crab paper color. So I thought that was kind of cute. So just a gift box. And I'll just take the little, whatever the little packet thing is, out. Then I also picked up some... Like a natural color shred that I'm going to put inside. And just a little bit because the gift box isn't that big. I'm just going to put, you know, just to make it look festive. You don't need to, you know, uh, be too full. So I just put a little bit in there. And who knows, I might use this shred for something else. We shall see. We got to see how this goes. Because this is on the fly, y'all. <laughs> so then... The last thing I picked up to go in this box was some Godiva chocolates. And I will show you an overview of everything closer at the end of the video. Um, but just, you know, showing you here. So I got her the uh, milk chocolate caramel. And then I got her two of the dark chocolate ganache. So I got three, and I'm just going to stick them inside of the box. And what I like is that the colors match. So I'm just going to go ahead and stick them in the box here. And it looks like that. 
put the top on. Ready to be given. And so I do have some um, gift tags. These are from Walmart. They were $4.98. There's 36 in the package. Um, they look like this. So I haven't decided which one is going to go on her box, but her box is done. So I can just set that off to the side here. Okay, so that's that. Now, for my other staff members, and I'm, like I said, this is kind of on the fly because I'm not sure how I'm really going to put this together. But I did pick up some of the Red Truck bags, cellophane bags, they're treat bags, and I'm hoping what I purchased will fit inside, so we shall see, we're going to work with it, but the treat bags look like this, and they have the little, um, closures, silver closures in here, and I have some ribbon across the room, so when I show you everything at the end, you'll see kind of how everything just kind of goes together, so this is the bags that the gifts are supposed to go in, so let's hope for the best. Then I also picked up for them, because I do work in quote unquote healthcare, I picked up everybody some masks because we all need masks, whether it's a cloth mask, whether it's disposable, because uh, some of my workers go to our group homes and things of that nature. Um, it's better to have a disposable than a cloth mask. So I went to Dollar Tree and I picked up everybody a set of masks. So I got those. Then a couple folks will be getting um, some body sprays. So I have body sprays to give away. And then I also have sanitizers. So I have sanitizer as well. But I'm not done. <laughs> so that's that. Then I also picked up, this is, well, these came from, the body sprays came from Family Dollar. Yes, Family Dollar. Um, everything else came from Dollar Tree. I also picked up some fuzzy socks, because who doesn't love fuzzy socks, y'all? Gotta have something fuzzy. So I have fuzzy socks, and then everybody got some form of a cup. So I got different Dollar Tree cups. And so that's, you know, I think I showed you guys a cup before. But everybody has a cup. So I have, you know, different cups here. And then also to go with, <laughs> also to go with these items. I picked up, and now these came from Target. Uh, so I was, and I'm hoping that these things will fit in here because I didn't test it out. So we shall see as we're working. But I also picked up the sanitizer holders. So as you can see, there's different ones. These were five dollars a piece. I also picked myself up one. I have the camera because you know I'm a YouTuber, so whatever. Um, so, yeah, uh, so I have, like, a little purse. I have a hat with a little ball on the top. I have a Christmas tree. I have a donut, a cupcake, and this one. Oh, what is it? oh look at there. It says good vibes only, and it lights up. So that's kind of cool. Oh, cool. I didn't even know that. I just happened to see it. When I, uh, let me see. Well, you can't really see it on camera. Sorry, guys. But anyway, I just happened to see it when I was messing with it here. So that's cool. So while I have these out in front of me, let me grab a bottle of sanitizer and see what happens. Let's see. Does it fit in here? Oh, yes, and it does. Look at that. Now that is so cute. That's perfect. So I have a few sanitizers here um that we're just gonna go ahead and put them inside the little holders only thing is the tags have the price tag on them so i have to take the tags off because i don't want i don't want people seeing how much i paid for them 
I don't think that's kosher. Okay. So yes, so this is gonna be really cute. So um, I want to make sure that all of my co-workers had some form of gift, but I, uh, I didn't wanna go all out because I don't really know them. Only a person or persons that I really, really know is my boss and my co-worker who reports to the same boss as me. So, yeah, I wasn't too keen on, you know, buying a bunch of stuff for folks that I don't really know, if that makes sense. I hope that's not rude, but, you know, it is what it is. So, let's get to assembling, shall we? So, give me a second to get my zhuzh together, and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, so we're back. Um, so what I did was I started doing one by myself before I turned the camera back on just to see how I kind of wanted to flow. And I actually have one additional cup, so I don't need to use it. So that just means I'll keep it for myself. Anyway, <laughs> um, so like I said, I will show you more in depth or up close um, at the end of the video. But what I did was I took the cup, so... Um, and I'm not done with this one yet, but I took a cup, opened it up, and I put a pair of socks in there, a mask, set of masks in there, and then I closed the cup up. Um, I put a little bit of shred at the bottom, so a little bit of this brown shred I put in the bottom, and then those little body sprays that I had, I stuck that also in there. So then I closed the bag up. And I have the sanitizer sitting on the outside of it. Now I have my ribbon. I'm just going to tie a quick little ribbon on there. But I'm thinking... I'm thinking to take the shred out. Because the shred... That's why I tried it off camera first. The shred does not allow the cup to sit up or stand up. And so um, it would be easier not to have that shred in there. Um, just so that way as I'm transporting and you know, things of that nature, I can be able to stand everything up. So I'm just going to leave the shred in this bag because I have more than enough bags and we'll just do it again, shall we? Because we have how many bags? 20. And we only have, what, four? One, two, three. Yep, yeah, four uh, gifts. So we can spare a bag or two. <laughs> so I'm just going to open the bag here. And it works out perfect, you know, for what I want to do. I just, like I said, want to give some, give everybody a little token of love. And I'll show you how I put everything together in just a second. And I'll close them up um, at the end. I just kind of want to get them assembled first. And then um, I can go, you know, cup by cup to see who gets what uh, sanitizer. I even have an extra sanitizer. I don't know what I was thinking um, when I first was buying everything, but anyway, so this one is pretty much ready and I have the sanitizer to go with it So I will just um, Because I have stuff sitting on the table here and I do want to go over those gifts as well um, I'm just gonna sit this over here on this on this couch with me So let's go ahead and assemble another one And I'm just trying to you know kind of pick and choose like who's gonna get what whatever um this one's really cute. So this one says, known for the holidays. So I have Ari in mind who's going to get that one. So what I did too, I took the tags off the socks. I just think it looks better, you know. I mean, people don't need to see the tag and whatever. You know, pretty much everybody shop at the same stores. But, you know, still. So I'm just going to take the tags off. I have my little scissors to cut them off so I don't mess the socks up. And then make sure to take out the little plastic pieces. Because, you know, sometimes people put their socks right on and, you know, begin stuck. So, you can't have that. All right, I think I got them out of both sides now. Oh, here go one more piece. Okay. So, these are little fuzzy socks. And I thought these were cute. And they're, they are Christmassy, but not Christmassy. Because everybody, you know, I mean, they're getting Christmas cups. <laughs> so, okay. But I figured, you know... Everybody likes a warm, fuzzy sock. So I'm going to take a mask. 
set of masks. And there's only two masks in here. And you know, these are not masks to wear like every day, but I mean, at least if you know, keep them in your car or whatever. So I should put a little bit of a hole in there just so that the air will, yeah. So I just put a little hole in the bag. That way it won't bubble up so hard. So I just roll the mask like this. So this is how they look originally. And I just took them and rolled them up. And like I said, I just punctured just a little small hole in there in the plastic so that they'll roll tight. Then I'm taking the socks, putting the mask inside the socks, and then rolling them together. And sticking it inside of the cup. Now, the other cup, I actually took the top and the straw all the way off and then stuck it back in there. This time, I just left the straw in there. Now, there is a science to this so that you're able to put the screw the top back on because you don't want to break your straw. And what you could do as well, which I'm going to do with this one, I'm going to stick the straw down the middle of the socks. That way, it's screwed on. There we go. So I have that. I need a new bag. And it's very simple. So, like I said, I just have a couple. Oh, i got to put this in here. I was wondering why I still have four body sprays. And I'm like, I know I did a couple already. But, you know, I just want to do something kind of fun. And so, this particular one, this gnome for the holidays... I have this silver looking purse and it's kind of got a little silverness to it. So I'm going to put this with that one and just stick it inside the bag, grab a body spray, throw it in there. And then, like I said, I will close, once I close them up, I'll show you how they are closed up with the ribbons and everything at the end. Now, one thing I did notice the uh, price tag on the, little holders you can actually just kind of rip the corner off and that way the price tag is not on there and so then I'll just put this one with that one so that be that so I will finish the rest of these off camera uh, because I do want to show you another gift idea uh, you know a little more expensive so like this particular this particular gift here just so you know, in case if you want to, you know, recreate, um, the buy spray was a dollar, the cup was a dollar, the socks was a dollar, the two masks was a dollar, the sanitizer, I got them in a two pack, so you might say that was 50 cents. The most expensive piece of this gift was the sanitizer holder. The sanitizer holders were five dollars at Target, so. You figure one, two, three, four. So about nine fifty, not including the bag. So not a bad gift. I mean, you know, to some people it still may seem like, oh, that's a cheap gift. Okay, and <laughs> it's the thought that counts, right? So anyway, but like I said, I'm going to finish the rest of these off camera. Let me show you some other gift ideas. Now, these gift ideas I'm getting ready to show you, these are more expensive, okay? So, this is so, if you want to, not so much impress, but if you just want to do a little extra for, um, for your recipient. So, this will be something like, mm, maybe a teacher, maybe a boss, um, maybe a good friend, something to that effect. So... The gifts I'm getting ready to show you, they're sitting over here. Um, they are similar but different. So I will show you, I will go through each individual uh, gift because, like I said, they're similar but different. So the first one, let me see here. And these are heavy. So the first one, this is for my coworker. So we both report to the same supervisor. The container that I have her gift in is one of those Dollar Tree um, collapsible drawers. So, and of course, it's in the red and black buffalo check because as you can see, that is my theme, home for the holidays. Um, so, her bag is 
full. And if I can remember everything price-wise or where it came from, I will tell you. So first things first, she's getting a sanitizer and holder and I'm giving her a Christmas tree because she likes Christmas too. So she got that. Um, she got a red cup and it says it's the most wonderful time of the year. And inside her cup, so this is what the cup looks like. Inside her cup, she has a uh, mask and a pair of socks inside of here. So I won't take the socks out, but that's what she has in her cup. She also has some bath and body lotion, body lotion. She has the winter candy apple. She has a bath and body frosted cranberry gentle foaming soap. Then from Family Dollar, I got a good deal. The their bath sets were buy one, get one 50% off. So this particular bath set was did I take the price off already? Mm, I think I did. Oh gosh, how much were they? Were they five dollars? No, ten dollars. So I think one was ten. I got the other one for five. I don't recall. Uh, but they were inexpensive. I mean, you know, and this is a bath set. So it has the body wash, the body mist, the body lotion, and the um, the mesh scrubby. And this is in the lavender scent, la French lavender scent. So it looks like this. Then I also got her another bath set, and it's the Japanese cherry blossom. Now, I do remember these bath sets were... Mm, were they three? I think these ones were three dollars. So I got one for three and one for a dollar fifty. Um, so she got the Japanese, Jap Japanese, sorry, excuse me, Japanese cherry blossom, and it's the shower gel and the body lotion. And she also has a scrubby in there. And then the last thing to round out hers, she has a Bath and Body Tis the Season candle in the red and black buffalo check. So. I will tell you, some things were expensive, some things were not. This particular candle, this candle is brand new, never been burned, never been burned, so you can see this. This candle is actually from last season, or last uh, holiday. So I bought this candle for myself um, last year, 2019 Christmas, and I never used it. I just used it as decor, but I never burned it. So I said, well, you know, I'm probably not going to use it, so... Why not gift it? Um, so I got gave her this, and I paid this. I got this during the candle sale, so I like nine ninety five. So not a bad price, but you might as well say technically kind of free this year because I didn't buy anything or pay for anything this year. Um, the soap, uh -oh. <laughs> I'm just dropping stuff. <laughs> uh, the soap and the lotion, I got those during their promotional sale, so like three. 50 or 325 and then you know like I, I told you all the prices for everything else so not a bad um oh sorry for me bending down but not a bad you know price point for everything that I purchased for her and this is just a nice gift so um we also have stockings at work and so she also got another bottle of lotion at work as well so, um, that's in her stocking. So, that's what she got for Christmas from Boss Lady. So, and I'll just, you know, put this together. I also have some, I didn't get the shrink wrap, right? Yeah, I just got the regular basket, um, bags. It comes two in a pack from Dollar Tree. So, I will put her basket in a bag. And then I'll show you how that looks at the end of the video. So that's another type of, you know, gift idea. If you want to give somebody something more expensive than just, you know, $10 or less. This is, you know, I can't even imagine how much it is. But, you know, it's not that expensive. Then for my boss. Now, my boss, her gift is similar. So, as you can see, she has the same red and black buffalo check collapsible drawer this will be her uh sanitizer and holder so she's got the little cupcake really cute 
Now for her, she's got a lot of stuff in here. I mean, a lot of stuff. So she also has a cup. So we all three, oh, that's gonna be cool. We all three have red cups. So hers says, eat, sleep, and be merry. And then inside her cup is the mask and the socks. <laughs> I also got her the coffee cup uh, travel mug, and it says let it snow. So I got this one because she loves coffee. She loves coffee, tea, cocoa. She loves it all. Um, to go with her coffee mug, travel mug, I picked up a box of chamomile tea from Dollar Tree. Then as far as her... Bath and body items. I got the iced cinnamon rolls foaming soap. I got her the snowy peach berry body lotion. And then she also got the fresh sparkling snow body lotion. And I know you can't really see that because of the glare, but that's what she got. And then as far as her bath sets, this bath set is the Honey Peach with the scrubbing. Looks like this. And then her other bath set is the Sheer Peony. And it's the body wash again, body mist, body lotion, and the scrubbing. So I tried to color coordinate theirs a little bit, but then I kind of gave up on the color coordination and just said, let me just, you know, make sure they got at least comparable I mean everything's not the same my boss got more so like my boss actually got three bottles of uh, bath and body lotion because each one of them got lotion in their stockings and so uh, my co-worker has one other bottle and my boss has two other bottles of lotion in hers and that'd be that so you know you don't have to break the bank a lot of this stuff I got next to nothing i mean super duper deals um <laughs> i mean super deals too but uh you know i just made sure i use coupons uh i watched the sales and i was able to pick up a lot of things um for them for next to nothing and then of course you know dollar tree too so yeah so i thought i would show you guys some gift ideas now, I know these are all women gift ideas, but you can, you know, make them men specific. They do have body care um, items for men at Family Dollar. They also have, they have some men lotions and things, body washes at Bath & Body for next to nothing as well. You know, so you can definitely, you know, make it your own for a man as well but these are just women or girls and both my boss and my co-worker um they both talked about you know not having time to themselves to like really do a spa day or whatever and i just wanted to give them some relaxation so my my boss is a single parent and my co-worker she's about to be an empty nester so you know you gotta have some self-care so i just that's what i you know was kind of gearing towards for everybody so uh, let me go ahead and finish assembling everything and then I will show you the final result of all of my gift ideas for my co-workers. So everybody, I have one more gift idea that you could definitely give to someone who is in need of some serenity now and we all need serenity right now, right? Um, another gift idea I picked up from Dollar Tree was these cute aroma diffusers and oh wait there you go you see it there so i picked these up i picked up four of these i also picked up a bottle of the lavender uh you know essential oil and so what i'm doing is i'm putting the bottle of lavender i've already screwed the top on tight putting it inside the box closing it up and then just going to put it in a bag. And I have some little jute twine that I'm just gonna tie it. I've already cut it here. Little jute twine. Just kind of twist the little bottle, the bottle, bag, <laughs> real quick. 
and uh, tie it into a quick little bow and voila, we are done. It's wrapped, it's easy, it's simple, and you don't have to worry about doing too, too much. Of course, my bow is kind of not that great, but anyway. <laughs> but that was another gift idea that I wanted to share with you all. These are also gifts for a couple people. I have four, like I said. And so um, two people, uh, well, four people will get two gifts. So uh, two of these will go to my coworker and my boss because I got them both one piece. And then um, my CEO will also get one as well as her daughter, who is the director of the other business that, you know, I do payroll for. <laughs> so, um, so they will get two gifts a piece and then the other people will just get the one gift. Uh, but let me go ahead and show you how I have um, wrapped up everything. And yeah, it's nothing fancy. And you know, a lot of people do a whole lot of, oh, it's got to be presentation, presentation. Half the time, people just rip that stuff up and throw it in the garbage, okay? So I didn't want to go all out extra willy-nilly with ribbons and bows and you know, expensive paper when I knew people were going to throw it away. So, that's why I got these Dollar Tree bags and yeah. So, let me uh, get the camera off the tripod and I will bring you over to my table so you can see the presentation of the gifts that I will be giving out at my employer and we'll just wrap it up from there. Okay, everybody. So, here are my gifts that I will be giving out for my coworkers and my boss at my job. So as you can see, I have everything wrapped up. Uh, this is my boss's uh, basket right here. And I just put the uh, little label on there. And I only use the labels on the two big baskets. I didn't put them on the smaller gifts. Um, at least not the ones with the cups because they have the... Um, sanitizers hanging off of them so I know whose is whose by what sanitizer is which and then these ones here are the diffusers with the essential oil in it and I already know who these are going to so I don't need to label those I just have them just like I said tied up with some little jute twine and as you can see I have the little body spray in there with the cup and then the sanitizers on top. And then for my CEO, her gift is sitting here underneath the Christmas tree. Of course, the tree is not decorated yet, as you can see. But anyway, <laughs> that's, not, that's not what this video is about. But anyway, I just wanted to show you some different gift ideas as well as wrapping ideas. You know, you don't have to break the bank just to wrap some gifts. A lot of times, all these items will be, you know, tossed, you know, the wrappings. So, you don't need to spend a lot to have a great presentation. And I wasn't um, concerned with having the baskets in the back with the clear bags, just because we're going to have our own personal party. So, it would just be the three of us. So, it's fine that their baskets are clear. But at this time, I would like to thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you're new to the channel, I am the Boss Lady, also known as Sharon. And I'm your hostess with the Moses. I'm glad that you decided to tune in to one of my 12 Days of Christmas. I do have a playlist, playlist started for the Boss Land 12 Days of Christmas for 2020. So if you would like to, you know, go back and watch the other videos, I would appreciate that. It doesn't cost anything to subscribe to the channel. So go ahead and hit that subscription button, hit that notification bell, give me a thumbs up, and I will see everybody in the next day of my 12 days of Christmas. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.